Hey everybody, Brandcoin here for another episode of Brandcoin Mining and today I'm so excited that we get to discuss uh, the Antminer E3 and what is going on right now with Ethereum Classic. Are they able to mine Ethereum Classic? Are they not? There's a little bit of a controversy going on. Apparently there's some custom firmware floating around uh, and I uh, can't wait to delve into it. So without any further ado guys, uh, let's get started. So this is my Antminer E3 before I sold it and it was mining uh, Ethereum uh, in this clip. And uh, basically in my last video, I put in there how these can no longer be used to mine Ethereum Classic as they changed their algorithm. But I have seen before I did that on Bitcoin Talk, there were some people were posting screenshots uh, mining Ethereum Classic uh, using some custom firmware. And uh, I wasn't sure if this was true, so I didn't want to put that in my video. But now I've had some people who are part of the Brandcoin community uh, commenting. Uh, one of them was Christian Lorenzo, and he bought some custom firmware, and he has this his Antminer E3 mining Ethereum Classic currently. And another one was from Stay Classy, and he was saying how he got the custom firmware for free off of Reddit. And I'll be putting the link in the description down below. And he says this works, although maybe his controller board is damaged and he's getting uh, only about 130 mega hash uh, but still I do believe at least for the moment uh, you can mine Ethereum Classic with your Antminer E3 although I mean this will definitely not be forever as apparently ETH Ethereum Classic is supposed to update to the SHA-3 algorithm, therefore there'll have to be new firmware coming out in the future uh, to fix this or it's possible that this uh, miner may really be a paperweight if they can't get it running Ethereum Classic any longer. Thanks everyone for watching Brandcoin today. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed to Brandcoin, please do so right away to show your support and hit that like button and that notification bell. And we'll see you all soon in the next episode.